Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to introduce my homemade supercapacitor. It's a relatively a small size supercapacitor. It is 20 farad and 1.2 volts. In upcoming videos, I'm going to tell you how you can make your own supercapacitor at home. I will tell you step by step. But in today's video, we are going to just test our homemade supercapacitor. We will charge it up and make some tests on it. We will see what um, it can do and we will see it, the capacity of this small supercapacitor. I just, I've, I've just used um, activated carbon and copper foil as the collector, current collector, and I just used uh, water-based sodium hydroxide as an electrolyte, so it is 1.2 volt and 20 farad, but it's pretty good, very professional, very nice supercapacitor. Now, we will charge it up and make some tests on it. Okay, let's see it. Okay, my friends, before charge our supercapacitor, I want to show you the initial voltage inside the supercapacitor. So I got my multimeter and I just set it up to voltage. You see, we will just measure the voltage inside it. Okay, as you see, my friends, there is, there is zero voltage inside our supercapacitor. Now, momentarily, we are going to charge our supercapacitor and make some tests on it. As you see, there is zero voltage inside it. There is no electricity, there is no current inside our supercapacitor for the beginning. Okay, my friends, I have a power supply here. I will charge my capacitor. I just set it up to 0 0.2 amp i will charge it up until 1.7 volt when it becomes 1.7 volt our capacitor will charge up to 1.4 volts so uh, i need 1.7 volt to um, charge my supercapacitor up to 1.4 volt okay i will just start it and see how many minutes we need to charge fully charge our supercapacitor As you see, the voltage is slowly increasing over here, 1.05 volts. Okay, I think that's enough. As you see, it takes about two and a half minutes. So we can say that the capacitance of this capacitor is more than 20 farads, probably 25 farads. Now, I will measure the voltage after fully charged. Okay, now, Now, as you see, the voltage inside it, 1.14 volts, as you see, so our capacitor was 1.2 volts after fully charged. It is normal, a little bit um, slow down the uh, voltage, so now it is 1.1 volt. Now, we will make some tests on it, my friends. Okay, my friends, I have a small cordless DC motor here. Now, we will run this DC motor with my supercapacitor. Okay, let's just have a look. You see, it's running pretty fast. It's working very well. Okay, it's very nice. There is no external battery, just our supercapacitor run our DC motor, as you see. So this supercapacitor can run this motor for about four or five minutes. It's pretty nice. Now make some another test on this. See?
Okay, it's pretty nice. Without recharging our supercapacitor, at this time I am going to run this small blender with my supercapacitor again. Okay. See? Very nice, very powerful supercapacitor. Okay, now my friends, I will recharge my supercapacitor and try to light an LED with a dual tip circuit. As you see, we have a dual tip circuit here and an LED uh, attached to the dual tip circuit. Now we will run this circuit with um, our supercapacitor and we will see how much time um, the supercapacitor can light this LED. Okay. Let's put my power supply away and just negative terminal. As you see, we have just super capacitor here. Okay, as you see, our LED is lightening very well. You see? It's pretty nice, pretty light, and this super capacitor, um, this super capacitor can light this LED for about 10 or 15 minutes. It's pretty good time for this small size of super capacitor. Okay, as you see, it's very nice, pretty good, huh? Okay, my friends, lastly, let's um, charge again our supercapacitor and see the voltage inside it. Okay, now look at the voltage inside it. Okay, we got at the end of our video, my friends. As you see, we have a very nice, very beautiful um, homemade supercapacitor. You can use a supercapacitor for your, for some of your projects, lighting, lightning in LED and run some small DC motors. It's very nice, it's very beautiful. As I said at the beginning of the video, in upcoming videos, I will show you how we can make uh, these kinds of these types of supercapacitor at home. And I will tell you step by step step. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my uh, video and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself, my friends. See you in the next videos.